Hello, my name is Jim Mullaney from SciTech Process Solutions. Today is Thursday, March 8th, 2018. Today I'm doing a video source inspection on two 8300 semi tool spin rinse dryers. Uh, for the privacy of our customers, we do not give their names out on our uh, videos, but for reference, the purchase order is 71069. This customer is in the Bay Area of uh, California. This actually is the second half of a two-part order. The customer actually bought four of these 8300 systems. We've already delivered two, and these two are being delivered tomorrow. Uh, these systems have the 101 semi-tool controllers. They have the EMO. Uh, they also have the kick plates that we'll show in the bottom in a second. Uh, the kick plate design, what that's for is you actually hold your, uh, you, can use your, you have to use your foot to open and close the door and start the process. For the options on these tools, they have DI recirculation. We look back here and I see the DI recirculation. They have DI resistivity, I see that. And uh, inside the bowl, they have the anti-static option. And yes, they do. They also have the N2 perch saver, and I'll talk about that in a second. On the back of our tools, we have our serial number. This system is SRD-01046. Uh, that means we, uh, we've remanufactured re over 1,000 wrench dryers. This one is uh, uh, SRD-01047. Um, and again, We've done over a thousand systems and on a double stack, most of them are double stacks, so we've done probably a total of 2,000 uh, semi-tool refurbishments in uh, Cytex uh, time. Uh, so what I'll do now, this customer also, a little bit different from normal, asked for four rotors per tool. They have six inch atop and eight inch at the bottom, but they wanted dual eight inch rotors and dual six inch so they could uh, be able to run eight or six as, they, as necessary. So what I need to do is the way the system works, and if we want to zoom down here on the kick panel, I'll describe it. As you see, it says door, upper, start. So what you do is if, normally if an operator comes with a uh, loader wafers, and this is the top one, you actually hit the door. And that was my fault because I pushed the door closed. I was leaning on the door and just open it. Second, there it is. I was actually pushing the door. So if you had your cassette of wafers like this, you would then load them in. This is the, uh, for reference, this is the Integris A18260MB uh, cassette. These are brand new rotors. Uh, they're balanced 0 to 25 and they run excellent. To close the door, I hit the kick panel again. There we go. And to start, you can either use the start switch or you can use the kick panel down to start. I'll use the kick panel. All right, as you can see, we're going into, actually, let me show the water's turned on. Um, what I have to do is I have each tool uh, facilitized separately because these use a lot of nitrogen and having them both on the same time would be a, a, a little strain on our system. So now we're in the rinse. Let me go into the bottom system now. Let me open the door. <coughs> As you can see, this is for the Integris um, A200-MG cassette. That's 8 inch, 200 millimeter. I'll close the door and I'll hit start. Okay, and there you go, you see the DI rinsing. Uh, so now what we'll do is why this system is uh, rinsing, I'll go ahead and talk about the uh, SciTech remanufacturing process. Uh, we are the world leader in re remanufacturing semi tool spin rinse dryers. What we do is we take any size system, we break it down to the bare frame, all the components are broken down, we send out the bowls and a lot of the metal parts to be electro re uh, processed and electro polished, we rebuild the motors, we check all the wiring, replace as necessary. We put new doors in, we put no windows in, we rebuild the controllers, we rebuild or replace all the ACR valves, we put in new pressure sensor switches, we do new uh, RSP. We have a detailed remanufacturing um, specification that goes through quite a lot of the tool. Um, the way our system is built now, okay, now we're in dry one for reference. Dry one is a high RPM dry, and in this case we're at uh, 1800. And for uh, reference, the semi-tool uh, process is a rinse, a purge, and then a high-speed uh, uh, dry one. That's meant to sling the water off of the substrate, and then you go to a low RPM dry two. There was many studies in semi-tool that show that you had much better particle counts when you ran a, a lower RPM. Okay, the bottom rinser dryer is now ramping up. See, okay, <coughs> it'll ramp up to about close to 2,000. Plus or minus uh, four to six RPM is what the 102 controller is, especially on a heavy load. So, now going back to our remanufacturing process, each head assembly without any poly is built out in our manufacturing floor 
After it's done, we have a quality control checklist. It's done by a separate technician. Once that system's passed, it is brought into a wet test. We then facilitize it, re-test uh, it in wet test, make sure there's no leaks. Then we have another quality control list. Once that, once that passes, it's put into its config configuration. In this case, two rinser dryers in the, in the polypropylene. Once that's done, we go through all the testing, and after we, it's qualified, uh, pass our, our QC specifications, we run 50 process runs with no errors before we take the video. So right now we're in dry one still. We have about, uh, well, dry two, the top SRD. <coughs> As you can see, dry two is 240 seconds. That's pretty typical. And now we just, and we run at 500 RPM. <coughs> this is kind of the boring part of the video because you just have to watch the rinser dryers spin. Since we have about a minute and a half, what I'll also talk about is our spare parts. At SciTech, we have 100% spare parts capability and service. We repair controllers, amps, rebuild motors, every aspect of the rinser dryer. We also have re new replacement parts, new motors, new amps, new controllers, new valves, new heater blankets, new RSPs, all designed by SciTech, all, all parts designed by SciTech. Uh, our, again, our company is uh, 20 years old, and uh, as I told you, we've done probably 2,000 systems or head assemblies, and we're very knowledgeable. We do quite a lot of customers uh, refurbishments. They send us our systems. Every week we have multiple tools come in from customers that we'd go through our rebuild process, but it's their system. And uh, we also do quite a lot of controller repairs for customers and uh, amp repairs and uh, rebuild motors. If you go to our website at www.scitechprocess.com up there, uh, you'll, if you go and you look at the left side of our website, it has a lot of buttons. The first six buttons are all semi-tool related. Actually, the first seven are, but the first three are the actual tools. The, the S model, the F, which is a hybrid of the traditional STA and the S, and then the S, uh, ST. Then the second set of three buttons are all the spare parts applicable. What we have on our website is we have a picture of the spare part, and we have a lot of the past uh, different OEM part numbers for that uh, part. Uh, one of the things about semi-tool is that as they evolved, they sometimes had two to three part numbers for the same part, so sometimes customers get confused, but they can go to our search box, plug in a semi-tool part number, and it'll bring up the appropriate semi-tool part on our website. We have about a minute, uh, two minutes left on the top one. Uh, you'll also um, see on our website uh, down below on more buttons, we do photography equipment, we do quite a lot of photoresist pump repairs and, and cell pumps. We do etch equipment, we do uh, lipsometers, we do uh, profilometers, we do particle counters, we do quite a lot of the Integris box washer. In fact, we're the one, number one remanufacturer in the United States. Last year, I think we did eight systems, and those are the large uh, uh, systems that are made to clean the Teflon cassettes that are in there. They're a, they're a very large system. In fact, we have one out, we have two out there. One's going to China uh, in a couple days, we, and we also just received three more in that we purchased uh, at, from a customer, uh, from two customers actually, uh, for their surplus tools because we have orders to fulfill. All right, we have about a minute left. Let me just look at the back of the machine, make sure everything's looking good. Everything's great. Like to make sure you never see any water droplets anywhere. Nice and clean. Everything looks nice. It looks beautiful. The nice thing about, uh, one thing you'll find out about uh, SciTech, our tools look and run like new. Uh, when, we, when these go into a fab, most customers think they're getting a brand new tool because of our remanufacturing process. In our facility here, we have our own poly shop. So if we have, see any poly we're unhappy with, that doesn't look perfect, we actually uh, reskin the systems. One of the, the things we offer too, uh, services, is we do 4910 reskinning for customers' machines. We did a, a lot of those last year where for the FM 4910 fire uh, insurance um, policies, we reskin tool. Okay, so we have 20 seconds left on this system. Well, at the end of the process, it'll wind down. The rotor stop position are known RSP. It's a cam in the back, back here. It fires against the piston and it'll upright the uh, rotor to what we call home position, which is 12 o'clock. You'll see that in a second. Then I'll open the door and I look, I feel for the hot end too, and I look for the dry wafers. Okay, we're winding down, RPMs. All right, the RSP just fired. And we are done. There we go, we're back to idle. So what I'll do now, upper one, I'll open the door. I first like to feel for the hot end too, nice and hot. And on, a, on an 8300 system, there's nitrogen and water on both sides. 
uh, all of the smaller tools only have it on the right side when looking at the tool. I like to look at the wafers. They look nice. The cassette's warm. That's good. I'm going to take this cassette out because we're going to need it for the other machine when I do the demo. I'll go ahead and close this door. All right, the bottom one just finished. And it's winding down in just a second. And we're now in idle, okay? Let me open this door. Gotta make sure I click it, right? Okay, first I feel the hot end too, feels good, feels good. Much heavier load because it's eight inch, looks nice. I don't think I need those. Actually, I do need those, so I'm going to save these two. I actually needed those, not, and I'll close this door. Okay, what I have to do now is I have to turn off the N2 on this system and turn on the N2 on the second system. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to power the system off because it doesn't really matter. One thing I want to do show you, I'm going to power these off. Um, you could probably hear the nitrogen flowing. What I forgot to talk about is this has the N2 purge saver. Uh, there's two versions of it. The version with the one-in-one -one controller, you have to turn the controller off, and when it does, it turns off the nitrogen. So now, if the customer doesn't want to use nitrogen over the weekend, if they're not processing, they can simply turn their controllers off, and it doesn't purge nitrogen all weekend long and cost a lot of money. Uh, that's one of the nice options we offer. To show you how it works, I'm going to turn this system off, and you'll hear everything go quiet. There we go. No more noise. Totally quiet. All the N2s turned off. I'm going to go ahead and switch the facilities here. So let's power back on. And if I change my facilities correctly, I show the N2s turn, turn back on. There we go. There we go. Good. I'm, I did it right. Okay. So what I'll do now is I'm going to open the top one and do the same process I just did. Let me get, this is the eight inch cassette I said I needed. Let's put those in there. I'll close this door. Let me make sure I have the water on since I changed the facilities. Yes, I do. And yes, I do. Uh, what we had, we, we, because of the um, 8300s use a uh, larger water supply, we have dedicated flow meters in the back of our final test area for 8300s. So I'll start this process. Okay. Oh, like, oh, I gotta make, aha, shit. Oh, sorry. There we go. <laughs> it's nice I turned the water on. Okay, so we'll do the bottom door. And here's our six inch cassette. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and put wafers in. Close the door. And I'll start the process. As you can see, the bottom water turned on right now because I, I did the facilities correctly. Sorry for that little mistake there. <coughs> okay, the top one's in dry one, bottom one's in rinse. What I want to talk about now also is that uh, SciTech Process Solutions has came out with in 2017 the most highest quality, most sophisticated uh, semi, uh, replacement semi tool controller in the world. Uh, the traditional semi tool 101 and 102 are good controllers for their time, but SciTech has what we call the Slick Device S1, S is for an S model, and F1 is in Frank for the F model, is a, is a touch screen graphic oriented controller. It has real-time analysis of what's going on. You see the, what uh, components are, are being actuated. You see the process running. We have full diagnostics, full maintenance. We have uh, full troubleshooting. Uh, we have graphical interface, so you can see if your N2's, uh, N2 heater is working, if your bowl heater is working. We also have, we're the only company in the world that actually will warn you that when your, uh, your anti-static um, stops working. <coughs> One of the things in a wafer fab is that Everyone worries about particles. Particles and, and static are killers. A lot of the times is that you don't realize your anti-static module on a rinse or dryer has died and you get higher particle counts, but you might not find that out 
to a few processes down when you start having some defects and you work your way back and it costs thousands upon thousands of dollars. Our system on the first run, whenever the anti-static module goes bad, warns you and gives you an alarm um, that doesn't work. We also have our N2 purge saver uh, option on our system. As you saw, if you turn the controller off, the N2 turns off. What we have in our system, if you have that, uh, that valve assembly, we, we have a button you push and what it does is it turns off the nitrogen but leaves the system on. And so what happens is when you open the door, the nitrogen turns back on, you put your wafers in, it runs a process with nitrogen on. When you open the door again to take out your wafers it, and then close the door, it stays on for 20 seconds. And if you don't actuate the door again, it turns off the nitrogen to that head specifically so you don't waste some nitrogen. <coughs> We're in the middle of doing the analysis of cost savings, but the first pass is each controller is going to save thousands upon thousands of dollars of nitrogen every year. It's going to be it's going to be a fantastic thing for wafer fibers worldwide. Uh, we've, we, uh, we sell quite a lot of rinser dryers. Right now, 85% of all rinser dryers that are bought from us, they upgrade from the 101 or 102 to our graphical controller. And we're starting retrofitting uh, wafer fabs worldwide. Once a fab gets the first controller in, they see the value of it, they start buying retrofitting and we retrofit all their rinser dryers in the fab. Uh, you can contact us at 916-797-9000 and ask anybody in our sales organization to go over that. Or you can go to our website and search slick device, or if you do the part number 03000 or 02000, if you search those numbers, that will bring you to the a part number on the website. We'll have uh, data information on it. We'll have brochures, etc., and videos. All right, now we're kind of in the boring part. I've already reviewed our remanufacturing process. I already showed you how it rinses and dries. Now it's in dry too. So we'll just go ahead and wait for the next minute and a half, uh, or two minutes on top, uh, a little less than three on the bottom, and then we'll check these wafers for the process. While we have the last minute and a half here, I'll talk about um, if you are a U.S.-based customer, you can call our office. Uh, we do have distributors in Germany, France, Italy, um, uh, Southeast Asia. Um, we uh, do direct sales in China. So we have representation all around the world, and we, our spare parts are shipped worldwide. Uh, we are becoming a major uh, uh, distributor now of our semi equipment in uh, Europe, specifically in Germany. We quote quite a lot of systems in Germany now. Uh, almost every month or they're being purchased. We have a minute left and we'll be done with this. So what we're doing this is after these are done, we're going to uh, uh, dry these systems out. We're going to go in and put them on, palletize them. And we have a truck that we're making a delivery tomorrow down to, to the Bay Area in California for, uh, to the customer. Again, when, we run, they are, when the time goes down to zero, the rotors will upright to the home position. That's what I spoke about, the RSP firing. And then I'll take out the wafers and feel for the hot nitrogen. All righty, almost done here. Okay, top one's winding down. There we go. Rotor stop position is fired. Let's the RPMs go down to zero. And I just said the door release. But I, oh, I forgot I can't open it. I gotta use the, the, the kick panel. It's been, and not too many customers buy the kick panel option. So I, you got to get kind of used to it. All right. There we go. All right. First, I feel for the hot end too. Feels good. Look for the substrates. Nice and dry. I'm going to move these to the side now. Oh, I'll go ahead and leave the door open so you guys can see uh, the inside of the system. The door. 
All right, hot end two, hot end two, feels good. There we go. Probably a little bit loud there. Because you can hear the end two flowing. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door because of that so I can finish up. All righty, okay. So, that will conclude this video source inspection of two semi-tool 8300 fully remanufactured spin wrench dryers. Again, today is Thursday, March 8th, 2018. My name is Jim Mullaney from SciTech Process Solutions. F feel free to call us at 916-797-9000 for all of your semi-tool refurbishment needs, tool needs, and all of your spare parts. Thank you and have a great day.